Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Samantha Rizundu if you are new here and today we're doing a full face of Mecca brands. So anything that is sold at Mecca um, and products that I actually really love. If you don't know me, I actually work at Mecca. So these are the products that I would totally recommend. I love using myself and I can do multiples of these videos because it's not like I have one favorite. These are just some of my favorites. So I've decided to go for more of a dewier glowier look today but i could definitely do this in more of a matte full glam capacity easily you let me know if you want another version of this but today we've got like you know we've got cream and powder but we're going more of a glowy vibe if you're new here please hit the subscribe button if you enjoy this video and let's get into it i'm going to start with ye old primer um i'm it is winter right now so i'm going to put on a little bit of the bobby brown vitamin enriched base base it is as good as it claims i do tend to get oily so i'm not someone that uses this all the time but it's totally worth the hype and i'm feeling a little bit dry right now so this is the perfect time and we want a really nice hydrated base for our makeup and it smells like a citrus fresh, but like a spa citrus fresh. Like it, it feels and smells luxe. And it's a thick, it's like a thick moisturizer, but because it's so deeply hydrating, it gives such a lovely base to makeup. So I definitely recommend this one, especially if you have a drier skin type. What it's doing is creating a barrier in between your dry skin that is thirsty and your foundation so people who often experience real dryness and patchiness on their foundation it's because not always but it can be because your skin is so dry whatever moisture hits the surface it's drinking up and just leaving a powdery residue so something like this is perfect for just protecting that skin layer giving it some hydration so when the foundation goes on it's less likely to be as patchy and cakey looking i am like i said an oily gal so i love to go in with like a blurry mattifying product i'm just going to use this in my t-zone it is the mecca max off duty blur stick this can go under or over makeup it can be worn alone without makeup it's just one of those products that i just will rave about to the end of time it is so good so i'm going to put it here where i get a little shiny and it's a really thin formula so this is kind of all that you have to do I'll blend it in a little bit with my fingers, but that's essentially it. It's just like a wonder product. I don't know how they do it. It's not my job to find out, but I do love it. And it's really thin, so I'm not really having to do much. I'm just making sure I don't have like a line, you know? Just pressing that in. And that's just gonna kind of smooth my foundation and kind of help that oil storm come through as hard. <laughs> I don't know about you, but it is so cold and I'm having a nice, I call this a dilly, cup of dilly. It's a dill my tea. Oh, if you're a tea drinker, what is your tea of choice? I am a Dilma, just your standard Dilma. I had their Ceylon tea the other day, love that. I'm just a dilly fan. I love me a Dilma tea, especially in winter. I think we're gonna do foundation because my eyes are actually single shadows. I don't have an eyeshadow palette. I was like, you know what? I think Mecca does single eyeshadows better than palettes. Personal opinion, call it controversial. We're gonna go on with my um, foundation. This is the Shiseido Synchro Skin Radiant Lifting uh, Foundation, oil free. I have the shade 140 Porcelain. So they have their original Synchro Skin that is more mattifying, and then this is their Dewy. It is very comparable to the NARS Radiant. I have locked it. The NARS Radiant, uh, what do you call it? Light, not radiant, the NARS Light Reflecting Foundation. I find this less dewy though. It's still got a really nice healthy dewiness, but then the light reflecting is super dewy and it's a very thin formula. I always recommend that to like dry skin or mature skin because it has good coverage with uh, out feeling heavy or cakey. Uh, and um, has skincare benefits. So I really do like that foundation, but I actually prefer the Shiseido. I just think it's a little bit more of a, I don't know how to describe it, a foundation, similar coverage, 
just I would say a natural to dewy finish. I don't like anything like insanely dewy. Okay, for instance, I recommend this. It's a good foundation, but the Cossus Revealer foundation is perfect for oil uh, for dry skin types because it's very dewy. I myself it just slipped right off my face and I tried it and it slipped right off my face within a few hours. So it was a little bit pointless for me to use, but I did like the formula, just not for my skin type. So keep that in mind when I'm recommending things throughout the video of my skin type. But this one is essentially for a dry skin type, but I still love it because I love a glowy foundation. I'll just powder it down because I will get glowy through the day anyway. And the glow still shows through even with a bit of powder for me. But you can just see how beautiful this kind of looks. I think it looks so nice. Now this I don't talk about all the time, but this is actually my second concealer from Cossus. This is the Revealer Concealer. I have the shade one. I think I would prefer 1.5. I think this might be a tad too light for me. And the two is way too yellow. So the 0.5s are cooler toned or peachier toned if you're a little bit darker. But this is really nice. It's a serum infused concealer. So it's got really good coverage, but it's also dewy, which is not many do that, that are really good coverage with a dewiness. A lot of the really good coverage ones are like super mattifying and a lot of people don't want that. This is comparable to the Bare Minerals Complexion Rescue, is that what it's called? I'm gonna sneeze. Concealer, whatever their concealer is, it's comparable to that. I do like this one the tiniest bit more, just because I feel like the Bare Minerals one, I've gone through a whole one, I did love it. I feel like it was a little bit more creasy than this one because this one has more pigment, you don't need as much product. It's just really healthy looking. It makes your eye look so hydrated. So if you suffer from dry under eyes, which a lot of people do, this is a wonderful high coverage hydrating concealer. I might add a tweeny, tweeny bit more just here because that's where I get my redness. But yeah, I think this is a kind of concealer I'll always have in my collection because of those benefits I just said, the dewiness and the coverage at the same time. I love that about it. Will I powder? No, I think we'll just keep going with cream. I might do my brows, and my brows are actually both from Mecca Max. I do, I've gone through, I've used the Hourglass, really like. Cossus, really like. This is what I have right now, and I also really like this. So for me, I'm not super picky with brow products. I do find them quite comparable, so my advice is to go the Mecca Max route, but their shade range isn't as good as Hourglass and Cossa. So if you are if you don't match the Mecca Max shades, then I would definitely recommend Cossa. They have a wonderful shade range of pencils and uh, brow, what do you call it? I always want to say brow mascara, brow gels. I have the shade medium. I find it sufficient. I think I thought it was a little bit too dark. We make do. I do really like this. It's a very thin pencil, so you can really make your brow look quite natural and build it up. And then also give it really good definition because it's thin. But it also means you need to be gentle with it. It's nothing worse than paying for a product and then it snaps straight away. We've all been there. Sometimes we get a little heavy handed. Sometimes we're a little bit angry that morning. So yeah, I would say this is a tiny bit too dark for me, but it's okay because it still matches my hair. And then I'm going with the Mecca Max uh, Brow Guru Control Gel. This is the clear one. Their tinted ones are fine as well. They're pretty good. But I do prefer a clear brow gel personally. And that's what we're going to use. Like I've used a lot of products from Mecca that I have finished, so I'll always recommend. Um, but this is what I've got right now that I also recommend. There's a lot of products at Mecca to recommend. All right, now we're gonna go in with the cream bronzer. We're gonna do all the cream products first and then I'll do some a little bit of powdering. I'm not gonna do a lot of powdering because like I said, I want a nice dewy look. This is the Rose Ink Cream Bronzer. And I have the shade Kawaii Beautiful. Supernatural, if you're looking for something supernatural, if you want something more powerful and pigmented, 
The NARS cream bronzer is 10 out of 10, but she's pigmented. But it does dry down, so it's better for long wear. Whereas this, I, I don't think it's bad for long wear, but it's a lot more of a natural kind of finish. I'm gonna just use my sponge that I was using. Oh, I also wanted to give a shout out. I don't have any sponges on me that I would recommend from Mecca, but uh, the Morphe, the red one, is my favorite. I think it's a really good sponge. Um, actually, the Juno and Co are good too. I forgot that I have that. That is good, but that gives you more of a high coverage to a regular sponge. Like sponges often make your makeup a little bit lighter coverage and dewier because it soaks up product and adds hydration. But the Juno and Co one has that microfiber, whatever you call it, material, which is different to a standard sponge. So it actually gives you the same full coverage that a brush would, but with a sponge application. So it's a really good sponge for that reason. Definitely recommend it. I, I used the Juno & Co, get this, I bought it before it came to Mecca. I bought it directly from the brand. How many years ago was that when the brand launched? I saw it and I was like, I have to have this. So I've actually been using Juno & Co for a long time. And then when they came to Mecca, I was like, woo! And it was not a huge price hike either. I think it was around the $6 mark then when they first launched, which is what the conversion rate was when I ordered it. So that was, a, that was a really good product that they brought to Mecca. It was quite a revolutionary product, I think, just because it is different to a regular sponge. And you can use it dry for powder. Did you know that? See how well, that's just warmed my face up, but it doesn't even look like I have bronzer per se. It just looks natural and glowy. Oh, it's gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. I am a huge, huge, huge fan of rose ink. Oh, I could have used their tinted. Look, I've got so much Mecca makeup. I could probably do five of these videos. I swear to God, because I keep thinking of things like the Na the Rose Ink Tinted Serum. Beautiful. That's more of like a supernatural makeup day though. Okay, we're gonna do a little bit of cream blush. We're only gonna do a little bit because I've also got a powder, okay? But I wanna show you this. This is the Shantakai Cheek Gelée in Vibrant. So I'm gonna put a little bit of this on the sponge, I think. These are really nice sheer natural flush. This is probably the most pigmented though. The others are quite supernatural, like for light skin tones. That's one criticism I have of Shantakai is they don't cater to enough skin tone range. Even their foundations, it's not the greatest skin range. It's just like too many skips. They don't have enough shades is what I'm trying to say. So this one is probably their most pigmented and it's still quite sheer, but that is kind of what Shantakai does. They do very natural, very natural makeup. So you've got to keep that in mind, but it's so pretty, isn't it? Like I could totally just stop there, but because we're doing a full face, we're going to keep going with powder products, but I think it's a really nice flush and it's a, it's a gel, um, gel formula. So I'm actually going to swatch it for you. So yeah, this is their most pigmented one. And then the other ones are quite sheer. And that was a tiny bit. So yeah, it's a really nice flush. Flush of blush. A little bit of powder. Yeah, still a bit of powder. My favorite is the nuts. Oh, I have a couple faves. I'm going to be saying this through. I'll just say one of my favorites. One of my favorites is the NARS Translucent Light Reflecting Setting Powder. This is in crystal. I think there's only two shades because they're translucent, like the, the light to medium and then the medium to dark. So I'm going to get a little powder brush. And it's got the little netting in here. I usually just kind of take what's excess around the sides. It's very, very finely milled. So it doesn't even look like you have powder on it, but it's blurry. Oh, it's very good. Very, very good. And people don't even, it, it just didn't get hyped and I don't know why. It does smell a little bit like bread, but we can get over it. So I'm just doing my T-zone where I got a little bit too glossy. But I've still maintained my dewiness whilst still setting. And that's all I'm gonna do. I don't wanna do too much powder. You don't need too much powder at the end of the day. Um, I also have 
the pressed one, but I do prefer the loose. It's beautiful. Bronzer, this one is actually very new to me. I got this from work, but I recommend these all the time. So this is the first time I've officially owned one, but I have used it. Um, but this is my first time. So if, if you are an OG to my channel, you've been like, Sam, you've never featured this on your channel because it's brand new to me. This is the, um, out, this is a common theme of some brands. I love Hourglass. I, I'm a fangirl for Hourglass and Nars and Rose Ink. <laughs> you know what? All the brands. I'm a fangirl for all of them. I love Corsas. Oh, anyway, RMS fangirl. So this is the Hourglass Bronzer. This is Diffused Bronze Light. And I like this one because it's got the diffused light, the ambient lighting powder infused with a, like a cooler toned bronzer. So these to swatch are not impressive at all. As a rule, Hourglass does not swatch well because they do very natural. See, it looks like there's absolutely nothing on my hand. But to apply, it's so beautiful. I'm just going to use this powder brush I was using because I forgot to bring one, but that's okay. So we're going to give it a little swell. And the ambient powder infused with it, the marble effect, is what gives you that beautiful soft glow. And I love recommending these at work because you can't overdo it. You can't over bronze. So it's very beginner friendly. But it's also expert level because it just makes you look bronzy and glowy and super sophisticated because it's not overly pigmented. It's a very sophisticated formula. And I don't think anyone else has quite replicated this. I think they've tried to, but I don't think anyone's officially replicated the ambient lighting powders, the bronzers and the blushes that are infused with that. I just think you have gotta, these are expensive, but if you like the look of this and how natural but still soft focused effect it has, it's worth every penny in my opinion. So it's got like, it's not golden. They definitely have beautiful golden ones. I think it's Radiant Bronze Light. I can't remember, all the names are pretty similar. That has that really warm tone bronzer. Gorgeous for summer or someone with more of a warmer skin tone. But I really like this one for the tone that it has. Next is my favorite blushes. These are the RMS Redimension Hydro Powder Blush. They're a baked chalet. They are refillable. You can buy the refillable, but I highly doubt you're gonna finish one of these. They are pretty big. I have French Rosé. Stunning. And then we have Hanky Panky. Now this looks really intense for my fair skin, but it's actually more of a burnt color. So I'm gonna swatch them. Oh, they say so clammy. It's a powder, but it's like a creamy powder. So you can already see that that is not actually purple. The, what looks purple is the reflect. So it's a purpley shimmer, but the powder itself is like this burnt brownie. Oh, I just love it. Z formula, knocked it out of the park. RMS kills it. French Rosé for that perfect pinky tone. Oh, stunning. So if you're looking for all of these beautiful trending pinky blushes, but they're all sold out, this one, but it has a shimmer to it. So you don't even need highlighter. I think I want to wear this one. What's my eyes? Oh, my eyes are pretty warm. I could actually wear either or. Let's go French Rosé today. My recommendation is using a really fluffy a blush brush. Uh, because they are quite pigmented. So I'm gonna go in with this Morphe Ariel in A22. We're just going to do a little bit here. So the good thing about these being really pigmented is they are very inclusive of all skin tones. And for someone like me, I just gotta go in with a lighter hand and then someone who is a deeper skin tone than me can use it and it'll actually show up. See, pretty. And I love that. I love that it's versatile for everyone and not just a certain skin tone. RMS needs to improve on their foundation shades, but, and that's that, gorgeous. I actually have a highlighter. I'm gonna put it on for the sake of the video because I want you to see it, but I wouldn't need it because this is already so glowy. I'll definitely, I don't know if I've used this one in, I probably have used it in a video. Should I just do the tiny bit? 
just gonna warm this up a little bit. Oh, I'm gonna go heavy on the blush again. Blush disappears, blush disappears. I wanna get my bronzer that I had, because for my eyes, I'm going in with single shadows. So I just wanna do a little bit of a bronzer in my crease, just as a base. Or you could use like a neutral eyeshadow, but because I've got this in front of me, I'm just gonna use the bronzer. Just so we have that nice streamline. Now this is an odd combo, but I've done it before and it looks a bomb. So we're gonna do it. So I have two single shadows. I have the Hourglass Scattered Light Glitter Eyeshadow in Burnish. Oh my God, this is made in Korea. That's cool. Um, this is incredible. This is very warm toned. I have sitting in my cart the Vivid, uh, Vivid, Scattered Light Shadow in Vivid. It's like a greeny, grungy color. That's the other one that I want. They are a cut above the rest. Like I have lots of single shadows and the formula of the scattered lights, there's something special about them. I almost feel like cameras don't do them justice. I've seen other people swatch them, but in real life on the eye, they are smooth. They are creamy looking, even though it's a powder, they are pigmented and they blend like a dream they're very high quality and yes they're expensive it's one single shadow but it is high quality like there's nothing worse than someone charging fifty dollars for a single shadow and it's just like every other eyeshadow these are a special formula i'm going to dip in with like a pretty fluffy brush yeah i'm doing this one first i just had to think about that and I very lightly swirled my brush in there. And these you could definitely use your finger as well because they are pressed in there, but they're pretty, they're not, they're not like too hardly pressed though. So they're nice and easy to pick up. That's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> so I often will just wear this alone. It is so pretty. I always feel quite sexy when I wear this. It's a very beautiful, I often wear this at like nighttime kind of shadow when I want like a, really bronzy glam look. I often reach for this one. It's just one of those products I just ride or die for. I think they're fantastic. And I'm a single shadow gal. I love it. Sticks, creams, not so much liquids, but I'll have a liquid. Pots, all of them. Love it. I just watched, uh, what's her name? I always forget her name. Amanda Z with all, she's got a lot of single shadows. Gosh, I thought I had a lot. I've got like maybe 20. I think she had like over a hundred, but that's what makes her an expert. <laughs> and then we have the RMS Eye Lights in Strobe. Now this is cream. It is creamy, it blends, and then it dries down for the whole day. I have hooded eyelid lids, and this is the only product that withholds. With holds, with holds. And so I'm gonna put this on the back of my hand. Oh, I love it. And I'm gonna probably do it with my finger first and then blend it with a brush. So this is super neutral. So putting it on over the top of this really warm shadow, it just, I don't know, I love it. I love this combo. I just feel kind of sultry and a little bit rocker chic, you know? I don't even need a brush. I'll just use my finger. They're very, very easy to blend. You have lots of time to blend it and then it dries down for good. Love. Love it. I also have a purpley, it's not purple, but it's like a neutral with a purple shift, purple tone to it. I think that one is Blaze. Honestly, I'd take all of them. I really would. Same with the blushes, the RMS blushes, I would have all of them if my bank allowance and storage allowed me. But neither do, so we don't. Don't you think they just like elevated the whole look? I feel like I should be going out now. I was like, yeah, we're gonna just go like a really, you know, dewy kind of look. We're going full glam. We're going full glam, baby. So this is what remains, so you can kind of see a swatch. It's very neutral, leaning, cool toned. It's very sophisticated formula again. It's very, worth every penny in my opinion. Honestly, I should just get more. I just, I wear them all the time. I love them. Oh, I love this eye look. Love it. We're going to do liquid liner because I use, this is my liquid liner that I reach for all the time. The NARS Climax Liquid Eyeliner in Explicit Black. This, 
is a brush. I hope I can show you. It's a brush and then it goes really thin. It's really cool. So you can do really thin or you can do a thicker brush tip. So I'm going to show you. So you can do thick or you can do thin. I even did that too thick because I pressed down too hard. But I do the thin side because of my hooded eyes, I like a really thin line. Um, and then a little flick. So I really like this pen. It's I use it all the time and it's still going strong and it stays on. It stays on really well. It doesn't crack. I don't find it smudges. But it's flexible because it's a brush. And then I still use that thin side to do a sharp line and then I meet it. And that's that. So I had to extend this one because I did a whopper on this side. Standard mascara. <laughs> I love lots of mascaras at Mecca, but currently I am using and I've opened because that's the thing. I don't like to have too many opened all at once, but I've currently been using every day the Hourglass Unlocked. This is the tubing version. So Caution is their original mascara and then Unlocked is their tubing, the newer one. Um, and it's got like a rubber wand. So this is really nice. It makes your lashes really natural, separated and lengthened. I wouldn't say it's extremely voluminous. I feel like Caution is probably more voluminous, but for me, I just want them to be separated and lengthened. And this does that. And it's very easily removed because it's tubing. And if you don't know what tubing is, it's a different formula. I think it's more of a water-based formula. I'm not 100% on that, but I think it is. And essentially you don't need makeup remover to remove it. It doesn't smudge because it doesn't have like oil in it or much oil. And I find that they don't flake either. And then it's removed at the end of the day or whenever you're removing it with warm water and your fingers rubbing and they come off in little tubes. Now your eyelashes do not come off. It very easily comes off with warm water. I've never had an issue with that. And I've tried many different tubing mascaras. I know I have black dots on my face. I always do that. Okay. So I recommend this to people who suffer from smudging or non-makeup wearers as well because they don't need makeup remover. They can just wash their face with water. Because some people just want to wear mascara and no makeup, which is totally fine. Mascara really does make a difference. My lip liner talk about all the time but it's one of my favorites it's the kevin aquan unforgettable lip definer this range is all skin tones for every skin shade um so i think i have the lightest or the second lightest i don't necessarily want the lightest one um but they all are nude variations for light medium deep and dark skin tones which is a wonderful concept because it's all about that 90s nude glam kind of look because Kevin Aquan was the makeup artist to the supermodels in the 80s and 90s. That was his a makeup look. Fun fact. Oh, I have the shade Divine. It's really good and it stays. And I just think they nailed it with the shades. If you're someone that wants like a darker nude than your skin tone, this is a great one. Um, it's even got a brush. I don't really need it, but I'm gonna use it because we're on camera. Oh yeah, a little ombre. It's kind of already dried down though. My lips are very dry right now. And then I brought two lip options, but that's because I didn't know what I was going to end up with. So I know what I've ended up with. So we're going to go with my Mecca Max Pout Pop. The sheer range, 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. They are phenomenal. I have the shade top down. This is my perfect nude. And it matches perfectly with this lip liner. Mm. It's so hydrating and juicy. The shades are beautiful. Look at my lips. Incredible. Love it. And um, I've not tried the other range, like the cream and the matte. I've swatched them and they look beautiful, but I haven't actually tried them yet. I've only used the She range because I love it so much. And then I am going to do a little bit of highlighter because I love it so much. <laughs> This is the Kevin Aquan Glass Glow Face Illuminator. Uh, this is the Rose Prism. It's going to go really nicely over... I'm going to use my sponge. It's going to go really nicely over my pinky blush. And it looks like glass, 
but it's not too sticky. So it looks like it's going to be really sticky, but it's more of like an, I don't know how to explain it. It's moisturizing, oily, lotion, I don't know. It's real pretty. I just think it looks stunning. I think I've done too much, but I also have highlighter on from the blush. So let's just really make me super dewy. So if you like that, you'll love this. I think people love it or hate it. I personally love it. Even as a mix in, I think I've just gone a little bit too ham. I think I went too far forward. Yeah, I think I fixed it a little bit. But yeah, it's, I don't know how to describe it. It feels moisturizing, but it has got a, like in between a moisturizer and an oil. It, it feels very nice. It feels very nice. Anyway, I love it. They have different shades. I really like this pink one. And then we're gonna setting spray. The Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray is phenomenal. Good spray. Smells amazing. And it lasts all day. It really, really does the job. I'm like full glam, guys. I'm ready to go out. Anyway, that is the finished look. What do we think? I love it. This is me. This is how I would do my makeup to go out, honestly. It's a little bit glam, but a little bit neutral. I hope you liked this video. Please let me know if you like this kind of thing, because I can 100% do another one, and another one, and another one. I was thinking I could do a Sephora one, but yeah, I could. I don't know if I have a foundation, but I might. I might do. I can't remember what I have, but I, I would be able to do a Sephora one. I'm pretty certain I would. I've got pretty much everything. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you did enjoy it, I would so appreciate a thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next one. Bye.